friends, Molly here. If you didn't watch my first video, I am partnering with Pimsleur to share my language learning experience with you using their app. I just got back from the gym, so I smell nice. And I was doing the elliptical, finishing lesson four of my Spanish one lesson. I got inspired because there was a little bit of food in this lesson. It got me thinking about Jennifer Garner's pretend cooking show. Hilarious. And I was like, how fun would it be for episode two to be a cooking show, a pretend cooking show. Can anyone guess what I might be making? I'll tell you. Churros, Chu churros. I think you're supposed to roll the R. And special guest, Oliver's coming by. Hola. If you watched episode one, you know Oliver is my buddy. He's been helping me out in this language learning process. We're going to make some yummy Spanish dessert with you. And I'm going to ask Oliver a few questions that arose for me when I was doing lesson four. All right, all right, all right, let's go. El agua, la mantequilla, el azúcar, el extracto de vainilla, la harina, la sal, los huevos, la canela, el chocolate, la crema espesa. Salt. Can you check? That's the salt. Okay, thank God. Okay, while we're waiting for the oil to heat up, I had a quick question for you because yeah. in lesson four, they said, Como esta? But I always thought that the standardized way of saying, how are you is como estas. Yeah. So why is it different? So it depends who you're talking to. If you're talking to somebody that you know well or is your friend, you can use como estas. If someone you want to show more respect to or maybe you don't know them very well, you would use como esta as a deferral. Such a good buddy. Before we finish our chocolate sauce, I have one more question for you. What's that? How come I can say estoy en Nashville, but not say soy de Nashville? Okay, so you could technically say both, but in your case, you wouldn't. Because soy de means I am from, and estoy en means I am in. So it's kind of like a permanence and a temporary kind of thing. So in your case, where would you say soy de? I would say soy de Boston. And why is that? Because I'm from Boston. All right, and then where are you today? Estoy en Nashville. Perfect. Que rico! Thank you guys so much for making churros with us. We are going to wrap up this episode of Learning Spanish with Pimsleur. Tune in next time for the third episode of this series. We'll be back soon.